Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday. That means we are tagging with Tiago, and we also have a. Who are you again? I don't know. Who am I? I don't know. <laughs> who am I? I don't know. Oh my god. And that's how it begins. Yay. We have Stanzi here. So you know what that means? More editing! Because I gotta put his link in the description. <laughs> 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 He's like, I need my screen time. First you interrupt Vitamin Y, now you gotta bust <laughs> it in the Daily Duels, not even on your day. What's wrong with you? Were, you? Hey, hey, you invited me for the Daily Duels, alright? Hey, you, you were already you here? Why did I admit? Uh, so, uh, you know what I want to talk about? But you're probably not interested in it. What? I want to talk about the whole next great YouTuber thing. Alright. And how I think it's bullshit, and I will not be entering in the next season if I'm not above 1500 next year. When he does it. Or whenever he does it. Because it's just bullshit. It's just a big old popularity contest. <laughs> Do you know about the, 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 uh, the Rinsker guy who did his uh, comedy video? Have you heard about that? No. Pretty much, you were supposed to do, for the second round, which I didn't make it to, top 16, you were supposed to do a comedy video. And for his comedy video, he decided to go in front of a camera and go, I'm going to win, I'm going to be the next great YouTuber, but this is the reason why you should uh, support the other people. And then he just stands up and walks away, and then the video goes on for the next 10 minutes of recording his bed, and nothing happens. That's his video. Wow, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Oh and my god, Tiago, calm it down. And guess what? And guess fucking what? What? He made it to the next round. He what? How? He, because he got supporters to support him, and he got more likes than people who actually tried on their fucking video. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. So he kicked out a perfectly good person who had way better video than him out of the top eight. Because his, because he has pretty much he has more subscribers than uh uh than anybody, than a lot of the other people in the competition. And that's pretty much what it is. It's just one big old fucking so popular... Cool big old one... one no, no, it's not worth it. It's just one big old popularity contest. And once again, the winner of round one and the winner of round two, the RJB0, with the most subscribers out of anybody, who is technically already above freaking uh, the, the borderline. Like, I shit you not. Like, the cutoff was 1,500. If you were more than 1,500, you couldn't get in. He had to screenshot his, his screen, and then he went up above 1,500. When he entered, he was like, like 1,499. Pretty much. And he got in. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. Now he's over 2,000. The ironic thing is that I, I, he was actually one of the first people I ever gave a shout-out to, and I gave him a shout-out when he had like 200 subscribers. Now he's passed me up. Hmm. The struggle. I know. You know, it's just like, okay. So it's just one big old popularity contest that I don't give a shit about. Okay, that's cute. So you're going to summon that and let it get destroyed by Instafusion and then pop something during the end phase? Yep, that's exactly what you're going to do. Hmm. That's cute. That is cute. That is cute. And then Tiger's just like, no, no, no. No. You can have that back, how about that? Put it back in the deck. <laughs> thanks for paying the thousand, okay. though. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Alright, well, I can go. I can go pretty ham. How come there was 17,000? Did he upstart him? You overlay booster on Felgrin? Oh, okay. I guess. What? What'd you say? Did he, uh, up, did Tiago upstart him twice or something? Draining Shield. Oh. Remember? Draining Shield? And then he oh, asked yeah. if it was worth blocking and said it's not worth it? Because it's really not. Uh, who do I do not have? Well, I can go you to you. I can only use one of you once per turn. Wow, the struggle. Alright, well, well, I guess so. I'm going to have to get Altair and go into this card combo that I don't want to do. Or I just Whenever take I hear the word Altair, I always think Assassin's Creed. I just do. You know what? I'm, you know what? I'm going to take Dulce. I'm not in a hurry. Tago's nice and set up. I should save resources. You're just murdering people. I should just save resources. Just take the duel. Just take the duel slow. Just chill. I'm not in a hurry to do anything, really. Ah, 
so, you know, you know, so, I mean, I entered because why not? I didn't think I was going to end, I, was, I didn't think I was going to make it, Actually, but I did. No, wow, okay. alright. Well, well, there goes Felgrand because he can't activate during the damage step. I did not know it was going to be Shadals, not even remotely. Who would have thunk? That's the reason why Shadals are going to be such a pain in the dick. Like, that it's a dragon. It's all, all of them, they, all of them are good. All of them. All of them are good. Fucking Lizard is like an extra sender, so you can get Finn more, and it can destroy something. Bloody Dragon pops back row, and it also uh, acts as a fucking compulse. You know? Falcon can make you can get make you get beast. Falcon, when it's sent, gets itself back, and if you've got something like Beast in the graveyard, then you flip it up, it gets Beast back, and if you've got a, which is why I like a AD changer, if you've got an AD changer in the graveyard, you can then go AD changer effect, banish, target the beast that you just brought back from the graveyard, face down, flip it up, and draw two. And it's like, oh my god. It's like, it seems like the more, we, the deeper we get into this game, and more shit comes out, the more and more broke this game fucking gets. Mm hmm It's I reckon pendulums are going to be the like most powerful fucking era of Yu-Gi-Oh. Look at fucking Killipot, like come on. That's what I mean. We're just starting in the fucking what? waters How? already. And look what happened, Killipot. It's like what the fuck and you know it's gonna get stronger as it goes on. Like how the fuck do you handle that? Like what the fuck was Konami smoking when they made that card? That card's just that card is do you know what that card is? It's the new Soul Charge, it's the new Sixth Sense. Oh, it's, bro new... it's, it's broken. It's, it's broken. that money card. It's the money card. Every uh, I mean, I don't, I, don't know, money I, card. I don't know what rarity is going to be, but it's broken. It's broken. By yeah. definition of broken, Every... it's broken. Yeah, because you can't do fuck all hardly to it. Yeah. That's, uh, that's one thing that people don't understand. They just throw around the word broken willy-nilly, and, it, and it's not. By the definition of broken. By definition of production, it means that it has altered the game state from the way that the game was previously played to the way that it's currently being played. I'd say if Noden came out in the TCG as well, Noden would be then classed as broken, because it would change the game. Why not? If he has Mirror Force, I don't give a fuck. Actually, that'd be better for me, because then I'd have my Deneb in the graveyard, so I don't give a fuck. You want to play Mirror Force, hit it. I don't care. I don't care. We got an empty Pleiades and a freaking Deneb. Why not? Um... What am I trying to think of to say? No, yeah. Sure. Sure. I don't care. Uh, I When's don't that care. A clip off thing killer coming out? And when are the rest of the uh, two? Next new challengers. Which is like, when's that? After Duelist. Uh, I mean, month Advent. wise. Month uh, wise right? I'd probably say early next year. Alright. It's either so early, got, yeah. So, that's I, early got, so we're, I got time to hop. No, on no, 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 not early next year. Not early next year. The end of this uh, year. This one. So I got time to hop onto stalls and Kleepots. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. So I'm gonna get a double-edged sword. So it doesn't even fucking matter what I do. No, not really. It doesn't fucking matter what. Unless I do. you can make your uh, thing and bounce everything back. Uh, who? Yeah. Should we go? Oh, no, you can't, no, I, I was can't. about to say. I can't make trivia. Wow, I fucked up. I accidentally summoned that. Oh, well. You meant you wanted to use it to affect the draw, didn't you? I'm just fucking up. I don't know how to use these effects. You know what? I'll take the Fontan Thrasher. I can use that. I can use that later. If shit hits the fan, but we're probably got this. But, yeah. The thing is, uh, I, 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 can make, I can make my Delta. Yes, I can make Delta. Yeah. Delta is fucking awesome. I can make them. My problem is that if I use his effect to pop, it's it's obviously Shadal, so he's clearly gonna get the effect, so it doesn't fucking matter. You know, so yeah. either way he's getting a fucking effect like that. You know what? Yeah. I'd rather have him search for a Shadal than fucking search for Fusion. Mm-hmm. I'm totally fine with that. Do you reckon they're gonna wind up getting one of every element so that Super Poly's fucking amazingly awesome uh, in that it, deck? It's already amazingly awesome at that in this deck. There, what what element do they really need still? I don't know, but if you have, like, one of everything, then it's perfect coverage, like heroes, you know what I mean? Uh, Competitive-wise, it's pretty much perfect coverage. I think, what, the only thing that they're missing... No, no, they got that. Water? Water is the only thing that they're missing? They haven't got water, they haven't got, um, yeah, Earth. They haven't yeah, they got... do, they just got Earth. Did they? Yeah, they just got Earth. Alright, well, they haven't got wind, have they? Who cares about wind? That's what I'm saying, competitive-wise. They haven't got dark. 
What? Have they not got that one, or have they? The first one that was revealed. Oh, yeah. Fuck, they have got that. And yeah. they got Y. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Curry Vault. I've never seen this one. <laughs> really? Wow. That thing just eats materials. Wow. And he gets to keep summoning. Wow. And then he can make uh can he make downward magician now? Because that's free, isn't it? Or is that spellcasters? I think that's spellcasters. He can who can he make? I don't know. He can make uh Shadow Mist. That fucking that lion heart motherfucker. Yeah, or that Shadow Mist guy. Yep, I was Lionheart. Right. Oh yeah. Lionheart. Yeah. You just got the uh you just got the sound. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I just got fucking just wrecked. I mmm, lovely material, sir. I'll eat them all. My God damn. Ow. So, what do you think was the most? Since we're pretty much at the end of the X Y Z era and we're going into Pendulum era, what do you think was the most powerful slash broken era? Synchros or X Y Z? X Y Z. Mhm. Well, pen not a pendulum. Synchros did have their good stuff with the Trish alone brown act and all they that They were more stuff. creative. Yeah. That's the thing. Synchro was more creative. This one just blew archetypes out the, the out the ass. Yeah. You, know, you had the plant deck, you had teledeck, you had creative decks that were the top decks. This is just archetypes. Except yeah. for one. Although I will, although like I say, I will agree that, well, I think... One thing that has been proven, this format anyway, is people were saying for a long while, oh, uh, archetypes, archetypes, there's never going to be a creative deck that's competitive in Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. Archetypes are the thing, and creative decks where you just like put stuff together from different archetypes are dead and all that, they can't be competitively. And then Hat came along. Yeah. yeah. It's, so, the new, it's the new... Uh, I still think, it's I still one think the players... Yeah, yeah, it's still the player base. Yeah, I still think the player base are creative enough to make their own meta decks they don't need a hand from konami in uh, the art type thing but i think konami sort of guide you down the path that they want you to go you know what i mean yeah like, i mean we know, i, I no, don't even think like, konami no, 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 no. you can, the you can buy that. these cards and try and make it competitive but we want you going down this certain little path and making us more money because i don't even think konami even saw a hat coming nope it's that it's how's that deck that you look at it and on paper it does look like the biggest pile of shit ever, doesn't it? Let's be fair. Yeah, it's like how the fuck does that work? It's like how I know, it's like what the fuck and artifacts and the fucking sank and the fucking trap tricks and a ton of back what how what? And then you just do that and you just get one up every fucking turn. You're like, oh, try and summon something. Oh, moral. Oh, Sanctum gets moral top, moral top pop. Oh, fuck. Um, try and summon something. Okay, uh, I'm going to get bottomless you because I searched it with the fucking trap tricks. No, I like my deck better. I think my deck has more synergy than hat. Yeah. Because I actually do something with the fucking artifacts besides you just sit there on the field and summon raw tech and pop shit. Sure, come at us. Sure, come at us and leave him in attack mode. Um, 101? Casto. 101 Casto. I'm, 101's a safer play. Like, if I, if I don't need to make Casto, there's no... No. I don't need to. This guy's taking forever. Look. Wow. Is it this spell player? Yeah, this is spell player, but he doesn't know how to use the freaking Leo, so he just kind of didn't use it. Okay, he's a fucking idiot. Well, I mean, not Leo Lionheart. Are you, are you going to be using... Oh, right, not using. Are you going to be... So you're still going to be... The guy whose hand it is now and deck it is, is the Shadol guy still, yeah? Yes. As it swapped over. Yes. All right, I was going to say, if it if it had swapped over and you've got Diamond Dyer, maybe make a Diamond Dyer, pop that Shadol to stop the Shadol guy and get him more advantage. Because this guy... All right, Lionheart is going to be a problem. But if you can take the Shadol guy out... You'll get over the Lionheart regardless, eventually. And then you'll can kick the other guy in the tooth. Because he did so much to take your materials off. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm probably... Like, the Shadol guy's deck is the biggest threat, not the player. You know what's so fucking hilarious? What? I should do, I just drew the Photon Thrasher. Nice. Like, yeah, it does. Wow. It puts it to the top of your deck. Oh, to the top of my deck. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and make my, uh... But I want to tell a night monster's gonna tell... Ah, fuck. I want to take out both of them, but I can't. I want to take out that face down, and I want to take out the freaking lion heart. Mm-hmm. I'd personally take the Shadol. No, I wouldn't take the Shadol, because it's Shadol guy's turn. I'd take the lion heart, then. Yeah, I'm gonna take out the lion heart. Although I do agree that the Shadol guy is the biggest threat. Alright, I think it's about time we use you serious. Yes. Don't be- hey, don't be too serious. That was so funny, he fucking did that car review, I was like, why so serious? And then everyone else started commenting similar stuff, and you're like, I hate you. You turned the fucking comment section into Trollville. I hate you. Fucking rip on my attachments. Fucking asshole. To do that shit. Like, you're gonna use me to plus. Like, what kind of bullshit is that? No, I'm good. You got one of your flip effects? Just do it. I don't care. Okay, so it's probably one of the ones that doesn't have to really do much. So you're like, oh, flip, bounce a well, card. Well, it's not the flip. Shadol guy, is it? No, but, it, oh, it's Dragon, okay. Yeah, so that's why he's not doing it yet. Well, it no doesn't matter, when, when when Dragon is flipped up, he gets to, what, pop a card or bounce a card? I think it's pop bounce a card. Bounce a card. It's bounce a card? Bounce a card when yeah, it's flipped, pop, pop a spell or trap when it's set, and it's Falcon, so he's going to get Dragon. Okay. That, mm. So I should have killed it, no. Oh. Because it would have been the same result. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't care. <sighs> Whatever. Sure. Put it down. Do you think, which version do you think of uh, Shadol's is better? The just all out attack version or the try and lock you down with Secret Village and Royal Decree version? I think the all out version is more consistent. And like yeah. I said, when they splash some super polys in, like, you, we know that we're just going to get it. Like, all of their fusions are good. All of them. Like, there's no shitty one. They're all just fucking, just, oh my god. Like, you haven't seen the Earth one? Pretty much the Earth one is a trap trick trap hole nightmare by just discarding uh, Shadal. What? Yeah. Well, in the Fire one, doesn't he do something similar to that, where you can, like, pop something with a sh by sending a Shadal or something? Um. Wow. Alright. Seems like every single time I do a fucking play, this guy is really annoying me. Hmm. Like, it seems like every single time I do a play, he just has the fucking odd-ass answer for it. My curry vote. Oh, tribute for Akaius! Didn't see that coming, did you, asshole? Like, no, I didn't. <sighs> so you're enjoying this one? No. No. Shit. Let's see how it goes in the king in the face. Because you did not play that card with no plan. I mean, he already used Solemn Warning. Don't worry about that. I forgot to activate the Royal Decree, that was my bad, but hopefully Tygo doesn't get it, I'm just... When you, what's that clicking? Are you doing something with your DS? Oh, that's my uh, Common Rider Seed Lock. Alright, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a Common Rider toy. Alright. <laughs> because I love Common Rider that I ordered one from Japan. Nice. So another Felgren, or what? Of course, it'll be another. Actually, you might make that a uh, Sylvan guy. Make that new asshole. Make that number 23. 23. I've not been looking at the new cards. I've been, either, I've been too busy either working or fucking spending time with my girlfriend. I've not had a chance to look at new cards. Uh, so. I've my girlfriend. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's not my fault. You said apparently you couldn't have video, you're done chasing, so George. You know what? Sure. That's a damn lie. Even I know that's a fucking lie. I know. What the fuck? I was like, I, I heard that. I'm like, mm-hmm, we'll see how long this lasts. Shit, the only reason why I'm not going after girls right now is because I'm not in school. I'm on summer break, so there ain't no bitches around. Ooh, that's game. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, he is fucking fucked. Fuck, Pierce! Woo! Damn, Tiago. <laughs> Damn, Tiago. Good game. And that's the end of the video. Wow, it's about 20 minutes. Wow. Alright, so. Tagging with Tiago featuring freaking Stanzi because he's an asshole and he likes to jump into everything.
<laughs> this one you invited me, like I say, I will admit, this isn't why, but that wasn't my fault, you didn't go on busy, I didn't think. I was like, alright, well he's always on Do Not Disturb or Busy or whatever it is, states on Skype when he's recording, and then when he's done recording, he's on online status. So, oh, he's online status, it must mean he's not recording, I'll give him a call. And it's like, no. Oh. <laughs> alright, so, finally I'm done recording for Tuesday, now I gotta record for... Wednesday, which means I gotta, still got to take these videos and edit them and render them and upload them. Like, people do not know the hard work that actually goes into this shit. No, they just watch the video and they think, oh, it's just guys recording it and putting it on YouTube. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, thank you, Santi, for joining me. Alright, no problem. Thank you, Tiago, for joining me, even though you can't hear me. <laughs> no <one> problem! <laughs> 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 really? That's how Tiago sounds. All right. That's why. That's why he doesn't have a mic. He's too shy. <laughs> All right. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, What's it? Slaying with Slate using Marmalade. If Slate's on, I if I can get in contact with him. I haven't seen Slate for a cool minute on Skype. Yeah. All right. Well, if not, then I guess I'll just play with I'll myself. Join you tomorrow. Play by myself. <laughs> I'll join you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no. You guys want a video no. of that? Me just playing with myself with more rolls? Playing oh, by myself? Hey, better, no, better yet, play with yourself and with running in the background music. My dingling, my dingling. I want you to play with my dingling. And you will never see my channel again. <laughs> okay, we're going to end it. Thanks for watching.